Hello and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson. Before we get started, if you hear any munching in the background, that's my mom's dog. Uh, my mom went in a nursing home and now this dog sticks to me like glue. Her name is Mandy and she loves those hoof toys. Here are the projects we're going to work on today. I'm going to show you the one on the left. I'm going to step that one out and then I'll just go over the other two. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Framed Hibiscus Die. This first one we're going to do on watercolor paper and I'm just going to impress the frame. I'm using an embossing pad. We don't want to cut all the way through. I'm also doing this on the smooth side of the Ranger watercolor paper. All I want to do is make an impression. Sometimes you just want a little more control. Uh, I'm kind of a control freak, but I like loosey-goosey for some things, but I'm just trying to show you a different way to do it. Anyway, this will just put an impression good enough for you to be able to do your water coloring and you don't have to worry about staying in the lines because if you go in the wells we're covering that up later anyway. I haven't gotten my ink tents uh, pencils by Derwent out in a really long time so I thought it would be fun to show you. Now I do not attempt to be a watercolorist and you'll see that I'm not. Anyone can do this. I try to do all of my projects so that anyone can do them. And all I'm doing is getting the color down for my flower. And I'm just going to let you watch me here for a few minutes. I just wanted to remind you, too, that I'm going to go to Stamp Away in Cincinnati, Ohio on Saturday. And I hope to bring you back lots of tutorial videos and some photos and things on Instagram and YouTube. So please come back and check those out over the weekend. Now I am putting the ink tints colors up on the screen, but really quickly, all the supplies will be linked below in the description box and over at my blog. So I've taken yellow and overlapped it with red, poppy red, and then I went in with my pink to finish off the ends. I'm not trying to get, you know, like I said, anything perfect here. Now I'm putting down a lighter green. Uh, a set of 24 of these pencils is really great. I, I wound up with a set of like a dozen or something like that, 18 maybe, and I had to buy them. You can get them at Dick Blick uh, individually. So now I'm just laying down a little darker color on top, and I'm going around and doing my little outline. I only had two blues. I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to be shopping. And I'm just putting down a little bit of color and I'm going to draw it out. And I think I laid it down a little heavy, so you'll see me try to work it out later. But the car turned out beautifully, you know. They're never going to be perfect, perfect. This is handmade. So I just add water. The ink tense pencils get very bright and that's they call them ink tents because they're intense they take a little getting used to they don't spread as easily as perhaps a watercolor or a watercolor crayon but you can work it be careful not to work it too much though or your paper will pill up now i'm going to add the water and i at the beginning, I was thinking, ooh, I need to stay in separate areas. But with these wells, you really don't have to worry about things running into each other. So I'm just blending the green out with a little bit of water that I have off to the right. Not a lot of talent required for this. And now I'm going to start on the petals of my flower. Unfortunately, my camera turns off automatically at 20 minutes, so I have stepped this out for you in a minute. I just wanted to keep what footage I could, but once again, not, not anything difficult, not brain surgery. While you're watching, I meant to give you my Instagram account. It's at the Darby Creek Diaries, in case you're interested. And please excuse the camera shake. I don't know the how that happened, but my program's not fixing it this time. All I'm doing is laying an overlay of Nina Solar White that I have already die cut. 
and see it cleans up your lines perfectly. Now this was what I was going to show you about the petals. I just stepped it out. All I did was put a layer of the yellow, then a layer of red, and I made sure to overlap, and then a layer of pink, and then you just take your water and drag it out. And I turned over my brush and it put a little yellow on it, I, or a little orange. Should have been a little more careful. So now I just decide to just drag it out as far as I can. And here's the finished project. I think it's turned out great. I put some tonic shimmer pen over it. It's hard to see in the camera. And I just added a die cut from Lawn Fawn Hello. And I put some Nouveau Crystal Drops on it to give it a little bit of dimension. But I really think that it turned out beautifully. The next card, I used the powder, shimmer powders from Tonic. And I couldn't figure out what to do with those backgrounds anyway. So I decided, oh, let's make an open fronted card and then just see through. I'll write my little message at the bottom there. You could probably write it on the back too, but I normally write really short messages. And the hello is from My Favorite Things. And the last one, I used the same shimmer powders from Tonic, but I just cut the die cut out of purple and overlaid it. And I left the corner so it would just show the flower and not the whole frame open and added friend from Simon Says Stamp. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you'll come back and see me. I appreciate you spending part of your day with me. And if you would consider subscribing, that would be fantastic. And also commenting, sharing with your friends. That's what keeps me going. I'm going to put a couple of videos up that I think you might enjoy. I hope you have time to make something today and that you have a great day. Bye-bye.